Hello, Crafty Family, it's Dee, and welcome to week 11 of our Kitty Pool Gardening Series. And we're starting off with the overview of my entire garden at the beginning of the week. With the tomato bushes, they seem to be doing very well. I did add calcium last week, and I do see a slight improvement, but I'm going to give it time to take effect. Now, the plant is still continuing to produce plenty of fruit, lots of these golden cherry tomatoes, and so I am really happy about the amount that it is producing. It's producing so much, I've had to give them away. And so I do have some of these golden pear cherry tomatoes and my San Marzanos as well, and they're doing okay. And here's my husky tomato bushes. I still have plenty of clusters of tomatoes on those and they are starting to blush and turn red. So I do have plenty of those as well. And you guys know that last week I was struggling fighting those squash vine borers on my plants and I know it got a couple of them, but I'm letting this plant just do what it wants right now. I have had such a good harvest and you see it's still producing fruit. So I'm going to let it still produce fruit until they totally give way, but I'm really happy with the amount of, of zucchini that I got this year. And here are my Blue Lake bush beans, so full and pretty. And as you saw, I saw little buds last week and now I have full beans. So it looks like I will be harvesting today. Now always remember to lift up those leaves because those beans always have a tendency to hide underneath those leaves. And here are all of my pepper plants. And here are my banana peppers, and some of them have a slight purple blushing, which is fine. Temperatures and sun can make them change color. And I also have lots of clusters of the green bell pepper, and I have some of the purple ones, but they have not yet turned yet. And here are my snacking peppers. The bush is still full of fruit and I'm waiting for those to ripen. And here's the overview of the garden at the beginning of week 11. Now we did have quite a few storms and things, but I guess it brought on some critters because as you can see, something has been nibbling away at the top of my tomato plant. I have some broken off limbs and some big chunks of fruit that have been bitten out of. So I think that I have a critter, but he might be coming out at night because I do not see anything during the day. But he's been definitely having a feast on my fruit, so I'm just going to keep an eye on this. And this seems to be the only part of the plant that's affected, and it's the very top. And here is my little harvest today. I got lots, 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 lots of those golden cherry tomatoes, which are absolutely delicious. I also gathered up a few of those husky tomatoes and grabbed a handful of my banana peppers. And look, my first harvest of my Blue Lake bush beans. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to cook these. So fast forward to the end of the week and after some thunderstorms and rain, this is what my garden looks like. Now it looks like we have tomatoes gone wild here because of the, all the heavy winds and rain, but as you can see, it's still growing and producing very well. I still have lots of those golden cherry tomatoes remaining to be picked off the plant and I do see some slight discoloration in some of the leaves but I have been trying to give it the nutrients that it needs but wow this bush is producing and look my very first golden pear tomatoes I'm so excited for those. And here's my husky tomato bush, and these are just about ready to be picked as well. I have several on this bush that I have actually eaten this week that I didn't get video of, but they're continuing to do very well and produce lots of fruit. 
And here's what's left on my zucchini bushes. I'm still keeping an eye on the fruits that are still uh, thriving. I still have a couple of zucchini still growing and flowers that are actually still blooming on the plant. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing until it dies out. And here are my Blue Lake bush beans. I did pick several beans this earlier this week, a, a, a nice good harvest earlier this week. But as you can see, as quick as I pick them, the more that they grow. So I still have lots and lots of beans to harvest. So I'm excited about that. And here are all of my pepper plants. Now I still have lots of green bell peppers on here and it looks like something nibbled at the stem but it, the fruit is actually not affected and it looks like on my banana peppers I'm going to start picking some of those off so it can continue to produce. And then I finally took a closer look at my little snacking peppers and I noticed that I'm getting just the slightest bit of orange on there and that means that they're just about ready. I was waiting for this color to come in and once that color takes effect I can pick those and enjoy those. And here is the overview of my garden at the end of the week. And check out this harvest today. So I've got some uh, husky tomatoes and bell peppers. There goes my golden pear tomatoes my banana peppers, my cherry tomatoes, and lots of those blue lake bush beans. This is gonna make such a delicious, delicious dinner. And then there's something I know you all can definitely appreciate. Look at this golden pear tomato. Delicious, huh? <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for tuning in and following my gardening journey today. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or just stop by and say hello. Now don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next update in this series. As always, take care, stay safe, and I will see you all next time.